Now, let's have a look at what is new. Gladly, yes. So then I will start with my personal favorite. You could already use the Smart Picker in various apps to quickly generate text and images with the Next Light Assistant. And now you can also generate stickers to send reactions in your talk chats, for example. And of course, that works in other places too. Emails, deck, card comments, you name it. Yeah, of course I knew you would pick that one. Yeah, obviously. But we already had some nice integrations in talk, like creating a transcript for a call. But you asked us for the transcript to be live during the call. And that's what we introduce now, live transcription, so that you can see what people say in text. Nice, subtitles. So I can catch webinars or participate in calls without sound, uh, even without my headphones. Yes, exactly. That's very handy also in when you are in a noisy environment, like in a cafe or something. Yeah, and it works even in group calls where you can see who is saying what. Exactly, yeah. In Xcloud Files, we integrated the ability to generate an image from the Plus menu. Just type a prompt, hit generate, and an assistant will then drop an image in the current folder. Yeah, really cool. So there's also an Excel Assistant submenu in the Files context menu. So it can do several things, depends on the file type, huh? office files, um, audio files, etc. So on the document, you can ask for a summary of the document, for example, and then you can see it in the assistant. You can also generate audio out of a document, so it's basically reading the document then for you. So then you mentioned audio files. Can I get a transcript of that too? Absolutely, yeah. So you can find an option for transcripts in the menu of an audio file. Wonderful. Now, another big one. The assistant cannot just read documents or create plain text. With this release, we gave you the ability to produce documents. Here you can see, for example, that you ask for it for a specific spreadsheet and it produces it. This also works with a slide. Gives give it a description of the presentation you want to do and the assistant will produce it to help you get started. Yeah, I believe this can really save a lot of work to kickstart the creation of a variety of documents. Exactly, especially when you're short of time. Yeah. So, so imagine eh, you finished the project meeting, you took some rough notes, and you like to send a nice structured meeting overview to everybody who joined the meeting. Now you put your notes into the assistant, you say, hey, create a Word document or a PDF out of this, you know, with a properly structured meeting, and the assistant will do that for you. Super handy, yeah. I really like that feature too. That was a rather humble example though. Now let's take it one notch further. So how about you ask it to find the support tickets that came in week, say, 37 in your email inbox and create a spreadsheet out of that. Then share the spreadsheet in the support chat room. Yeah, exactly. So the assistant can read mail, it can create documents, it can send chat messages, combine it in one command, and it can do all of that. That's impressive, right? That's super impressive. Yes, I like it. So that was the agent feature we just peeked into. All the features we just covered are accessible by AI agents. Yeah, so for example, eh, in the video here, you're booking a work trip. You can ask the assistant like, hey, you know, look if my manager already in chat, send an approval for the trip. Then you ask it to find the hotel in Soho, show a bike route from the Penn Station to the hotel, and it does it. Mm -hmm.